A city imbued with the spirit of excitement and a stadium enveloped by anticipation. This has all the ingredients necessary for a tasty football recipe. And both sets of players are ready to throw everything into winning the game for their fans. A mouth-watering prospect awaits. We're live on EA TV. Underway. And here's how the lineup looks for Sheffield United. Well, it's a 5 3 2, which looks a little bit defensive to me. It certainly means they won't be able to press their opponents too high up the field. And again, that might be a problem for them. Let's have a look at the initial 11 for the visitors. Well, it's a 5-3-2, really, because both wing-backs are more defensively minded, which could leave the front two without any service from the wide areas. That could be a problem for them. Can they create something from here? Opportunity! Oh, that is an outrageously good stop! Well, great reflexes from the keeper. He did brilliantly there. someone get on the end of this well as a defender that will sit you down to the ground Ahmed Hodzic excellent passing well sitting deep and just trying to form a really coherent block a chance to whip it in Onana Harrison Well for Sheffield United It didn't really go to plan last time out They lost against Manchester City Oh what a chance this is Derek What a magical save it was it short Harrison teammate in support just wanted to get it out of there Amadou Onana Calvert-Lewin intelligent threaded pass here Garner qualifies as respectable the reason it's off target because the technique was really poor on that occasion that's not a good effort Ahmed Hodzic just wasn't going to give that ball away. Well, the ball with Everton once more. Well, the visitors very much dictating the tempo over the last 15 minutes or so. They're creating plenty of chances and looking a constant threat. We feel they have to take the lead at some point with this sort of domination. With that, the first half action is over here at Bramall Lane.
Back underway here into the second half. deserved a yellow it's a poor challenge you have to say and they will make the change now United facing Spurs. What a game that will be. Two good teams in a great stadium. I'm really looking forward to that one. Ducure. Jack Harrison has it. Well, it's all about passing as they try to hit the front. Yeah, here's the setup play. Well, it's a great little back heel, isn't it? And there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that. And back underway. 1-0 it is. Oliver McBurney. Well, we're inside the final quarter of an hour now. And now with Egan. Down by a goal. This could be the final opportunity to snatch something. Must 
possibilities inside the box. Oh, an incredible clearance. I must say, I didn't see that coming. Well, approaching full time, the mess is wearing the look of Mission Impossible for the home side, Stuart. Well, they've certainly lacked a goal for it up to this point. There's been little invention, no real combination play around the box, and the crosses have been erratic. But there is still time to find that moment of inspiration. Well, if you're wondering about that in time, two minutes it'll be. Come in. And the referee blows for full time, bringing this contest to an end. A frustrating experience for Sheffield United. Well, Derek, it was a poor result, but it was a really tight contest. Both sides had their chances, could have gone either way, but in the end, they will be disappointed. And in the final analysis, a really positive performance from this man, Stuart. Well, I enjoyed watching him today. His work rate, skill and movement were excellent, and he fully deserved to score that winning goal.